from a technical side, how have you achieved this trust minimized thing without changes to the Bitcoin mainnet? There's quite a lot of interesting nuances behind that. For the context for the people who are watching, innovating Bitcoin, especially that any upgradation on Bitcoin network is always pretty challenging. It's a governance challenge, right? We need getting a consensus alignment from the miners, from the whales, of course, the Bitcoin core. It normally takes years to have that. So let's assume we want to have a, like opcat or whatever operation. It's going to take a while. Our approach build layer from the very beginning, the reason we chose the design of BVM, right, to work on that using the existing Bitcoin script doesn't rely on software half port. It's based on that kind of assumption. We are not going to have another BIP in the next two years. And I'm probably even next four years. There's going to be a lot of debates, a lot of consensus building still around. It took taproot asset upgradation. It took three and a half years to have the upgradation, right? We might have another two or three years had the curve to figure out, should we go for the CTL? Should we go for the opcat and all that, right? So basically all these like a, a major upgrade which will involve a lot of stakeholders, especially miners and the Bitcoin cores to evolve. So our approach using BVM is basically using the existing Bitcoin script code to do the fraud proof on Bitcoin network, right? So that's kind of essentially how it works, doing the challenge game, doing the optimism fraud proof uh, to kind of verify transactions. There's some challenges on that. And that's kind of the engineering challenge we are, we are going to deliver. That's why it took us already 14 months over 30 engineers, 15 full-time delivery. We're still kind of working in progress. It's one of the most ambitious engineering solutions we are delivering in the space. But I think we're getting there, uh, including with a few other teams also delivering it with a different approach. But uh, basically, the assumption is like using the existing opcode without depending on any soft fork, hard fork, which is another debate. Is hard fork, a hard fork good or bad for the network, right? There's like different opinions across the community.